No, you're not looking at an aquarium. It's an Asian market in South Sacramento. And everything here is fresh, even the frogs. But pound for pound, catfish is the top seller. California is the sixth largest producer of farm-raised catfish, but California catfish fetch a higher price than anywhere in the nation, $2 more than anywhere else. And the reason being, California catfish are delivered alive. Twice a week, Vicente Anguiano delivers live catfish to Sacramento and the Bay Area. But Vicente is not a fisherman. He's a farmer, a catfish farmer, and he works here at the fishery in Gulf. For catfish, we're probably the biggest in California. The fishery is a family-owned business that started in 1975. A lot of people just don't know about us. Zachary Beer is a second-generation fish farmer, and it's his job to feed the never-ending demand for catfish. We go to San Francisco, Oakland, Sacramento. It takes about 18 months for a catfish to reach maturity, but here at the farm, growth cycles are staggered so that the catfish harvest can happen twice a week. This is farm to fork right here. Zach says live catfish can be out of the water and into a restaurant or market within a matter of hours. But to do that, fish farmers have to work fast. I think I just stepped on one. I learned firsthand just how fast they work. We're going to get wet today, I have a feeling. This farm has over 800 acres of ponds. When the catfish are full grown, they're transferred to smaller holding pens. Supposedly, it makes it easier to catch. So the big hazard here on the job is uh, getting these guys whacked in the face. Whoa, down the pits, down the pits. Each one of these nets can hold about 500 pounds of fish, and loading it is hard, wet work. We're grading right now, grading. So you may be wondering, why aren't catfish just pulled from the Sacramento Delta? First off, there's not enough catfish in the Delta to meet demand. Second, Delta catfish are known to have high levels of mercury. This is all 100% well water, and that makes it where the fish are not going to be absorbing any toxins or anything like that. All right. Fish farming is becoming a sustainable food source. All the water is recycled from these ponds, and the fish are fed food with natural ingredients, no GMOs. Also, fish farms prevent overfishing in our waterways. Hey, thanks for watching, and watch more videos just like this. Also, write in the comments where I should be checking out next.